and we are set. Spencer and Kersey jumping up, and Jerome Poo Richardson. 15 out of shot clock, a lot of time. Terry Porter right around. Poo Richardson with a little acrobatic shot. Corbin pushes off, no foul, and then track down the rebound. Over Williams, in and out. But he gets the follow. Now, they're averaging 17 out of Portland, and I also like no one has forced the shot. Only one win for Minnesota this year. Buck Williams through the motion. Corbin battles for the rebound. Out to Rick. There you go. Take it to the hole. Over Duckworth for two. Anytime that you play a quality team, you Corbin over Drexler. Long pass to Clyde off the glass for an easy two. The hook. Spencer tips it away. Outlet to Richardson. Three on three. Boo shakes and bakes. What a pass. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Held it. As long as Poo keeps this up, Ron, he's getting. Drexler just quickly turns and just flips it up. Well, he claims that all they did was they shot too quickly. And uh, now that was a very nice move. Terry Porter anticipates the pass, takes it away from Richardson. Mitchell, but Terry takes it right inside for his fourth point of the ballgame. Who Richardson is finding the right people for all miles. In the first. Danny Ainge sent to check in the Portland lineup. There's your double teams. Anytime you beat a Portland guy off the dribble, you'll see two guys right on him. Glass off the glass. But it was Minnesota on an 8-2 run. They turn it over again. Turnover number three for the Blazers. West inside. Pass the basket. He draws the foul. Now this guy is an athlete. Now he's been injured in his career. Out of Villanova. You know, he, he blossomed. Uh, they were looking for him to be, you know, more of a contributor at Villanova. But he did a nice job. Now, here he is. He can really run the floor. Jimmy Rogers told us today they think that he has a great deal of potential. Robinson short on the jumper. Here comes Scotty Brooks. They like him to push it up. Nice. The glass to the glass again for two. Uh, Scotty Brooks just threaded the needle, Ron. That was a very tough pass. And then a nice catch by Gerald Glass was not intimidated that Drexler was back. Now, you just watching your screen. When he makes this decision, here comes Drexler. Drexler is the shot blocker. All right, now, he did not get away with that bump. I'm surprised that he did that. Second-year player out of Duke with the rebound. He's checked in. Pass to Bryant. Inside at the lobby. He's got his first two of the game. Like Portland is going to stay down inside. Inside and easy. Two for Glass. He has 10 already. Another turnover for Portland. That is number six. Three on two. Nice, nice pass. Oh, what a pass hey. by Scott Brooks. What a beautiful fake. Portland coaching staff timeout. Very, very upset. They are being embarrassed now. Their second unit is not operating at either end of the floor. Now, just watch a little head fake, end ball fake by Scott Brooks on this fast break. He forces a defensive player to move, pack moves to cover the wing, drops it right down inside. Now, I'm impressed because they are getting out there three on two versus Portland. Good anticipation by Pack cutting off the passing leg. Has Mitchell the beat, and he does. You've got to challenge that shot. You've got to go with Spencer. And Mitchell, running jumper on the way by Glass. You gotta like this kid. Yeah, Ron, when they run their set play, they're getting Dota stuck in the paint. Who lets it fly with four on the shot clock? Look out. The Drexler run the tape. See, now Glass, you, you've got two left in the hat. Duckworth, the right-handed push shot way outside, but Kersey there for the follow. See, they have Kersey in out there. That was, that was smart. Smart basketball. Doug West with a bad pass. Porter strong to the hole again. Now, they carry Porter's time to wake up their team from a defensive standpoint by forcing him to go down the floor and track. Shot clock is five. Campbell with the finger roll with the left hand. And he now has ten. Got to clear out for Campbell. West from about 18. He buries it. West with seven. Nice. They take it all away. Oh, oh, what a play! Now that fits Jimmy Rogers' description of West. Five 
point lead by Minnesota. Mitchell, the running right hander goes down. You know, he shoots at three. Somebody better look up. Mitchell, the off balance right hander, will go. Corbin there for the follow. Count it. Ah, that was a great catch by Corbin. A sensational shot. They kind of practice and they talk about it constantly. Oh, I don't know who put that in. That was off of Buck and Jerome Kershaw. They're going to have every news station in America tonight. Now watch this. This kicks off to the left. Now you have Buck and Jerome. And watch the English. How about that? Not bad. A little cute ball that time. Snooker. Corbin's shot. is good. Portland going cold. Three on three. Let's see if he can make it happen. Pull up three. He said, forget about making it happen. I'm going down south of three. Right. Oh, That's right. And Portland needs a timeout. They lead it by 16. And 19,000 fans love it. This third personal foul. 18-point Minnesota lead. That score is correct as it goes down by two to 16. More in the third quarter for Portland. West, his shot goes down. He's so quick. But from outside, hasn't been able to find the range since that 14-point first quarter. West to Brooks. He'll let it go for three. <laughs> They've got it cooking tonight. That is his first three of the year. He was 0 for 5 coming into the game. And the lead is, believe it or not, folks, 21. Four does. Anytime you trap, it's not just the fourth turnover. It's to run the clock. Williams, Drexler follows. Think the Preston trap. At that time, Drexler went down the opposite end of the floor. See, that was his rotation, Ron. They've had four guys in the trap, and Drexler playing man-to-man. -man. Drexler goes up and count it. As the clock gets down inside to take that percentage shot. But this young man is showing a great deal of cool, the third-year pro out of Villanova. His quickness gets him open, Ron. There's a three. Drexler is very, very dangerous because he will launch them. Ain't get the handle of it. Drexler leads the break. It's two out of four. He'll pull up with a three, and he trains it. Deanna Crusade, you must take the ball to the basket. Shot on the way. Nothing but net. And by the time Brooks gave the ball up, it was set on the shot clock. But when you drain shots like that, it doesn't really matter. How about the bench tonight? West and Glass off the bench. Drexler now 11 of 16. Give him 33 for the ball game. 17 in the third quarter. Pretty good. Murphy comes out on eight. Danny lets the three fly and he buries it. Green, get it out. Outlet to Porter. Back on the right. Ainge is spotting up inside the Porter instead and he gets the two. Because Spencer and Brewer both have four fouls. Boy, Peck blows by everyone. Did he elevate? Wow. Right here, one-on-one -on -one Drexler. That's a gimme. Yeah, I'm right. you got a big forward out there, and he's nervous that he's going to go by him, so he gives him that 17-foot shot. Corbin to Mitchell inside. The right-hander goes down. Quickly packed down court. He'll throw it up. He's got it again. Shot clock at eight. Pack sees a little open again, and the rookie is putting on a show. I tell you, this young man, he is really going to make it happen. Portland is outscored Minnesota 22-9 to nine. so far in the fourth, 23-9, to nine, as Porter hits another three, his second. What did we tell you about him? He always looks for the three with the shot clock down for a double screen on the right side. There he is right there. Porter nice. dishes and off. Inside. What a pass and what a play by Kersey. Drexler on Mitchell. Five seconds here. West puts it up over Porter. Big shot. Porter could not have played him any better. That was excellent defense. Hands of Percy, another 24. Drexler for three. Doesn't get it. And Pat comes out with the rebound. He puts it up. He's got it. Five seconds. Plenty of time. Pat, the rookie. He what a job he's doing. He is doing a terrific job. Shot clock at nine. It could be it. And fittingly, the rookie will take it in because he has been the difference in the fourth quarter. Tough catch. See, right now, 
Jimmy Rogers is going to the referee. Where is the foul call? Where is the foul call? Now, this is what we talked about before at the last timeout. You're not going to get the foul. You're a young basketball team. No respect. That's Buck Williams. You were stripped by a rookie except for one thing. When you play the quality teams in this league, you cannot expect the call. And they just, they bumped him. Buck Williams bumped him, and then he was stripped, and then the outlet passed the pack, and it's only fitting that this young man should end it with a basket here. Now, I know it's happened before, but the odds of that happening are maybe one in a thousand. Right. Now, what you try to do also is score the quick basket, and then allow your defense. You gotta have some faith in your defense that you might get the inbound pass, or force them to call a timeout, and then maybe steal it again. Now Portland outscores Minnesota 36 to 15 in the fourth quarter, and they go on to win it. It's their fourth straight. The final 107 to 102.